Welcome to the Hersey House. I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we're going to be talking about business process flows and how to use a table and the columns within that table to help you with your business process flow. Let's take a look at make.powerapps.com and get started. So here we are at make.powerapps.com and on the left hand side, you'll notice that we have the option for flows. So we're going to click flows. And for this example, we're going to be creating a business process flow. So at the top, we're going to click new. And we can go ahead and pick a name for this. Let's call this client forecasted revenue flow. All right. And then we, it says choose an entity. Remember that an entity is a table. So our table is called potential clients. This brings us to our creation screen. Each one of these blue boxes is considered a stage throughout your process. So this first stage, if we look at the details, notice that there's nothing really here. It says data step, new step. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and create a naming convention for some of this stuff so we know what's going on. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change this new stage name to client created. And we can click apply. We do have an optional category to put this in if we want to, but you do not have to use them. So a client is created is my first stage. So let's look at the data steps that's associated with that. The first one is I want the client name. So we're going to select the data field, which is the column. Remember, fields are columns. So we're going to select client name and click apply. There's two ways to do this. We can either go to components and select data step and drag it over, or we can select data step and click add data step and then select it. Either way, we're going to create a couple more data steps. This next one is going to be the contract amount. And one nice thing about this is if you select the data field first, the name will be auto populated. So you don't have to type it in every time. So if I were to create a new data step, and I select my field as probability. Notice that the name is created for the step. So it's one less thing that you have to do. And our last piece of data is going to be the stage. And click apply. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a component and this is going to be a conditional statement. Condition statements are if then statement. If this happens, then do this. So my new condition is going to be for the contract amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rule over here on the right that says if the contract amount is greater than or equal to $10,000 and click apply. So that is my condition. If the contract amount from the field, from the column is greater than 10,000, go to the check mark. If not, go to the X. So now we have two options. I'm going to create a stage on either side. This one I'm going to call high priority 
Make sure your entity is your potential clients or your table is your potential clients. And then for underneath here, I'm going to create a same thing, a stage, but this time I'm gonna call this one low priority and click apply. Now, we have to set the details of each one of these. So let's set the details of the high priority one first. So instead of a data step, because we're not entering data, what I wanna do is I wanna use a flow step. So right here on the right hand side, we're gonna choose flow step and we're gonna input this in. Now I don't need the data step, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it up here. So that all I have left is the flow step. So let's go into the flow step. Let's call this send email. And here is where we select a flow. We're gonna select our client created flow, which sends an email to our manager with the information embedded. Click apply. And the same thing down here, we could also create a flow. So we're gonna use a flow step. And once again, we're gonna choose our client created flow because regardless of whether it's high priority or low priority, I still wanna send an email to my manager and let them know that they are going to have a new client but because of our automated flow, it is going to send them an email regardless. So this is just a secondary email that they're going to get. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna create our last stage. And this is gonna be our forecasted revenue. And we're gonna create the same component for the low priority as well. So for this, we are going to use a data type. And in this data step, we're going to select to enter data from the forecasted revenue. Remember, this is the calculation that we created modules back. Click apply. Same thing with this one. We still want the forecasted revenue, even though it's a low priority, meaning it's under $10,000. All right. So the final thing we need to do is validate our flow, make sure it works. If not, it will give us an error. It says this stage has one error. So if we go to the error message, I have not entered a flow. So it did not select, for some reason it didn't accept my flow when I selected it the first time. So let's click apply. And it looks like it took it now. So let's validate again. And it says validation is successful, perfect. So let's go ahead and save this. We must first activate this. So you must activate it in order to see it. Now we should be good to go. So now if we refresh, and go to our business process flows. We can see our client forecasted revenue flow. So let's go ahead and run this. So as you see at the top, we have the option to see our different pieces of our flow. 
Here is our form that we created earlier in the modules. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Notice that I have the lead because that's set, but I can't go to the next priority. And currently it says low priority right now. So we can't get to this next step until this first step is completed. So let's go ahead and fill in some client information. So we'll put in a new lead. Now we can go to the next stage. Notice it's now a high priority because it's over $10,000. Right here we can send an email to our manager letting them know it's a high priority and the information embedded through our flow. And then when we go on to the next stage after we've run our flow, it'll ask you to log in. So it's processing. So we're going to the next stage and the forecasted revenue is approximately 97.50. And so this is just a simple example of a business process flow. Of course, it can be tailored to whatever your business specifically needs. You can have your conditional if then statements put in however you want to direct the business process flow. I want to thank you guys for joining me. See you next time.